She came in and, like, destroyed everything. Took a lot of work. Years. <laughs> Wesker did a lot of work, too. Other Wesker. Other Wesker. Mm. So, you, do you care about his work? No, I don't. Okay, so, <laughs> anyways, what did you think? Like, bugs aside. B well, <laughs> it's like saying, it's like handing someone a fucking, like, poison cake and, like, poison aside. <laughs> what did you think of the cake? It's like, <laughs> no, it was a good game. Negative four, ten. Okay, it was, <laughs> so it, it bumped itself back up. Yeah, no, it was a good game. Bugs aside, for anything that was like that, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I think I did prefer Barry's campaign more, um, but I thought the like I don't know, probably playing co-op, I'd prefer Claire's. Yeah. Um, good character use, good, uh, decent, decent plot. I mean. Another Wesker. I'm really shocked, right? No. I know, right? Um, Neil. I wasn't shocked at all. No, they're not. Haven't been pretty subtle in a long time. I think they just forgot. Forgot what to be that subtle. word means. <laughs> um. Yeah, main cast was good. Returning cast was good. I liked all the new characters. Um. Like gameplay, I liked the weapons having four at a time. I like the upgrades. Puzzles were pretty solid throughout. Got they got better as the game went on. Uh, most of the enemies were okay, even the annoying ones weren't god awful. Uh, final boss battle was good. Were there any? Oh, there was like a couple of small mini bosses. Yeah, not I, a whole lot. Uh, what was to do with the chainsaw thing? The drill. Pedro. Pedro, that was a good one. Yeah. I like how it can be optional where you fight him. Yeah, they, I mean, they give you a lot of choice. Same with, um, like, I liked the small decision of getting Moira to shoot Neil or getting Claire to shoot Neil because it actually makes a difference to the game's ending, but you would never guess that. Like, yeah. who knew that something so so small would make such a big difference? Yeah. The whole idea behind it is that Moira overcomes her fear of guns, so she's able to come in and save Barry at the end because she's no longer afraid to use them. Yeah. But if Claire shoots Neil, then you get the bad ending. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, but that, that's good, too. It's double endings are nice. Um, having things from one campaign affect the other increases replayability, which is good. I just like that it was, I guess, past and then... Or like yeah, past and then yeah. present, but not such a big time space that the things that were going on wouldn't make sense. Yeah, you know, like you might have noticed that in Clara's campaign, you fight like the strong zombies with like weapons and whatnot. Yeah, and then in Barry's, you fight they're called rotten because obviously in the six months that have passed, but all their flesh is rotted off and they become more like zombies. So I think like timeline wise, they did really well. Yeah, my favorite thing i think about this game that i liked so much about it was like inventory i liked inventory was good i yeah. liked the use of sub weapons and i like kind of like the old resident evil style of like key items taking up space and i just liked all the different abilities the characters had i really liked the, like the pointing's not useful and the bricks aren't but they can be <laughs> kind of useful but you don't want to make like a little girl too overpowered so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. And the crowbar is just fun. I just, I love using it. It's just fun as hell. I wasn't a big fan of the, whatever that shit was that got on your face and you couldn't see. Mm, that's not my kind of thing. Or the, or the bleeding. The bleeding was, it was obnoxious, but I, that's a kind of like a thing where it's like, you want to avoid that because you don't want that. The other thing just feels annoying. It's like, it's hard to explain. One feels like, it's like, oh, I really don't want that to happen, so I'm going to try to avoid that. The other feels like, God damn it, that happened. This is annoying. And I can't see shit. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. The bottles were cool. Capcom was awful. <laughs> Maybe if, like, FromSoft made this game. FromSoft. Then it would just be too hard. No. You just have to get good. But but then again, if it was made by FromSoft, there wouldn't be so many loading screens. It's so you, you take the good with the bad. Yeah, if, if I'm just talking about the game 
I guess all the stuff, all the bugs where they weren't a big deal. And I'm not really hampering on the loading screens. It wasn't that obnoxious. The frame rate was something I can't forgive, though. And like I said, like I played this, now I've played this on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. And it's not that bad on the other versions. Yeah. I had only ever experienced a bit of frame drop or, you know, right. in the first chapter and only in Claire and Moira's section right in the prison. And then after that, all the wrinkles kind of get smoothed out. But I never encountered, like, being stopped at a door. That never happened before. I never experienced the sound going out for no yeah. good reason. And it seemed like the frame rate was just like obnoxious all like throughout. And I don't, yeah, I, don't I don't understand why. Right, I can I can forgive screen tearing. I, I can forgive small minor bugs. I can forgive things like that. But I can't give forgive a bad frame rate. Can't give that a pass because that's not something that should happen. It's like if they have to lower it. I I know you said it makes differences on other versions, but if I hadn't played those, I would just assume they couldn't make it run smooth, and they were trying to make it run at a higher rate, but it couldn't handle it, so it kept bopping. I would prefer they just kept it low. Yeah. And it, it fucks up your gameplay. So. You said you would. You reminded me about the doors. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I could. I know this is like a couch co-op game, which I don't know how to feel about that either. I wish online. I don't. S see why online shouldn't be an option um couch co-op is fun but online should always be an option too and vice versa right uh but i didn't like it when i was trying to go through a door just to explore and you were in the middle of something and it yanked you away yeah i it was cool and at the same time it's like it's cool but also a little game breaking we did that thing where you completely avoided that mini boss at one point yeah that's, I mean, that's great for us, but it, it's kind of like, it's like, oh, you just skipped one of our bosses. What's the point? Yeah. yeah, it's like, well, I can just skip a boss, whatever. I kind of try and chop that up to, like, strategy more than cheapness, because yeah. when you're playing on your own, that's not really an option. It's like, so I guess like, we couldn't do something like that on the final boss, so that's where I'd be like... Mm. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> like, if you could just run away from her, it's like, exactly. well, that, why? The mighty Capcom sticker of doom. It's the end of all their games. Like they're proud of themselves or something. At least they thanked us for playing again. Like yeah. They did. That always makes me feel good. No, overall it was a good game. Yeah. Playing it again, that can vary too. Like I play this co-op, so I have that kind of experience of it, but I need to see what it's like solo, and I need to see what it's like playing the second character. Because right. that can make a difference. Right. No. So now you're seeing Resident Evil 6. Kind of. A little bit. That's cool. Yeah. It is cool. I don't know how long after the incident this is. Probably like a couple months, I'd assume. Dad, would you get your ass in gear? Claire will be here any minute. Yeah, Dad. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Polly, you see my jacket over there? Natalia, are you upstairs? Come on down and get ready! So I think it's like Natalia's birthday. She still looks the same, though. <laughs> and Barry didn't even give her another outfit. She's just wearing the same thing. <laughs> that is actually kind of awful. Yeah. He was wearing new clothes. The bird is gone. The bird has changed. What? So she's reading a bunch of Kafka stuff. Great. So... Yeah, I get it. They have to kind of have a bit of leeway for the next game, I suppose. Of course they do. But that ending made me angry. I was I just, I don't, why couldn't they just leave it on You can't have notes? happy endings. You can't have them. It would be nice for once. You can't just have Just once. You know? Like, uh, whatever. It's ha fine, but. Happy endings are not allowed. And that's the good ending, too. So it's uh. like, the good endings aren't even that good. Ooh, Chicago type. So you get a bunch of bonuses. You get costumes, bonus weapons. Bogus. Sniper Claire. Figurines. Uh, go nuts. And we got Ooh. a shit ton of BP. So, I don't know. Overall, we didn't do too bad, I think. No, not bad for the first time for me. We also didn't get anything below a B in terms of rank, I don't think. Damn so, right. I mean, not bad. Ooh. 